What is happening guys? Welcome back to another Sword and Shield battle. Today we are going to be doing some more hyper offense range shenanigans. And we are playing against my boy Blakake. So <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this squad to do something. Which hopefully um, the rain comes through for us. So let's let the battle begin here. Blake, we've actually played quite a few times in the past. And uh, this man always gives me some good battles. So... He's also got some interesting teams. Let's see what this guy's working with here. Depressed Doctor. About to get it. So, we do see the Gyarados right off the bat. That is extremely scary. He does have the Eldegoss, which is something I haven't seen in a comp match yet. He's also got the Toxtricity, Rotom Wash, Cinderace, um, a Gengar, and then that Gyarados. So, definitely some big threats there. We are worried about the Cinderace. Um... Along with Rotom Wash, he's also got the biggest threat in the damn game, which is Gyarados. So, not sure what he's going to want to lead off with. I'm assuming he could just be that Rotom. Maybe even just Gyarados. But, let's lead Nigel. We're going to get the rain up, which could be a bad idea depending on what he wants to do. Um, if he wants to be Gyarados, I could stay in and just go for a Hurricane. But I'm thinking it's probably just going to be the Volt Switch with the Rotom Wash. So we got to be scared of that thing if it's if it's Choice Scarf. The reason why we're leading off uh, with Pelipper is because I can just switch directly into Seismitoad if need be. So let's see it here. Let's see here. He's going to lead, up, lead off with the OU Ho, which is the Rotom Wash. So yeah, this thing comes out here. We do not feel safe um, just staying in here. So don't really want to go for a U-turn either. We do get that Drizzle up though. Making it rain on them hoes, and now we can go ahead and switch into the Seismitoad. So he's either going to go for the Will-O-Wisp or the Volt Switch. Seems like we play against Rotom Wash way too damn often these damn these days. It's the most common appliance around. Um, he could go ahead and make the prediction of me switching into Seismitoad and get a better matchup. But I think he'll probably just go for a Volt Switch. Seems like the safest play. Um... Definitely not leaving Pelipper in here. He is actually going to switch himself out, and he is going to bring in Baby Yoda, <laughs> which is uh, the Eldegoss. So he does predict the Seismitoad to come out. Uh, he makes the correct play there. And that is not the best for us. Eldegoss, I'm not really sure what this thing even really wants to do, but <laughs> that's an amazing nickname for this thing. I think we're going to go right into Barbara, to be honest. Um, there's probably not much that Eldegoss wants to do, so he makes the correct play there. That boy Blake... Making the reads. Um, as he's going to go for the sleep powder. But does not affect the pointy girl Barbara. So. Um, we could just go ahead and try to set up some spikes here. Or I could just go for a toxic. Um, his switch into this could be... I don't want a toxic in case toxicity. Um, he can't bring in the Rotom Wash. Could bring in the Cinderace. Which is what I'm probably going to be expecting. I think I want to go ahead and go for... Just a Toxic here. We could actually switch expecting the Cinderace, though. And I could just go Frank. You know what? Let's go ahead and make some risky maneuvers here. We're going to go ahead and expect him to bring in the Cinderace. We're going to switch into the Dracovish of our own. So he does actually end up going into Ghost Malone, which is the Gengar. So lots of switching going off right from the start, which is a good sign. So we can do... We can try to get some predictions going on this match. So... Um, we're scarfed here. I think we just go ahead and click Fish's Rend. Um, he's not going to want to bring in... I mean, the Rotom Wash takes a lot of damage from that still. Oh, we're just going to go ahead and click that. We are Choice Scarf. And Ghost Malone over here is going to absolutely feel the wrath of the Draco Vish. And it's it's Focus Sash. So <laughs> that is not the best. Going to go ahead and disable us as well, which is terrible. He tries to go for the Substitute. Not going to happen. Um, he wasn't expecting the Scarf there. And... We actually are just going to click this, even though we're disabled. That was actually kind of a bad play. I clicked that immediately, and it kind of just locked me into that. So now we're forced. <laughs> oh, man, we're forced into that. That cursed body hacked me up. Ghost Malone might be the best best nickname for any ghost types. I'm assuming he's going to want to switch this thing out, uh, which means we could try to get up some hazards later, so that way we don't have to worry about the Gengar. Um, a substitute Gar, though. Luckily, he didn't just go for a T-Bolt there. We can potentially just save our Dracovish for later. So this man is thinking about it. Um, the Choice Scarf caught him off guard, which is great. And we definitely want to save the Dracovish. So 
Eldegoss could come in. Uh, he knows I'm he knows I'm choiced at this point, so he is going to switch out the Gengar, which is to be expected. He's going to go into um, the Gyarados here, and I'm assuming this thing wants to... Oh, it's actually Intimidate, so that's actually kind of great news for us. We don't have any moves left because <laughs> we are locked in, and then the Cursed Body makes us struggle. I literally clicked A way too damn quickly. We get some recoil too, which is annoying. Uh, but the rain goes away, and this thing is definitely going to start Dragon Dancing, and that is scary for this team. So I think we just go right into Nigel. Um, we can get up the rain, but damn, bro, I just... Mm, this is not good. Or do we just decide to go into Sheldon? Shelton, if this thing Dragon Dances here, we could Dynama... Uh, no, this is not... No, just kidding. We need the rain up. Barbara might be the best play here. We're going to bring in Barbara. We need damage on this Gyarados. I'm so afraid of Gyarados every time I see this thing. Uh, but it's good to know that it's Intimidate. So it's funny we went, <laughs> we had to struggle there. He's actually going to set up a substitute. So Blake really be trying to set up them subs today. Um, which is not good for us because we really do not have much. I need to, I need to essentially just break this thing sub. And we have to rely on hitting a Power Whip. Which... It's never the best idea, but we kind of got ourselves in a scenario where we need to do that. I'm expecting him to... Expecting a Dragon Dance. I haven't seen a sub on a Gyarados yet. But that is scary. A Gyarados behind a substitute makes it even scarier than it already was before. So, the Gengar is down at 1. If we can get some spikes up at some point, that would be fantastic. Uh, so, he is going to dance behind the sub. And watch, we're probably going to miss the Power Whip. I'm calling it. I only say that because when I do call it, it doesn't actually happen. And we do connect. All right. But damn, this thing is... This thing is scary. So we're able to break the substitute. Um, this thing does have one Dragon Dance here. I'm going to expect him to Dynamax here because he wants to get the speed boost with the max Airstream. So I think we just go ahead and... We have to click Power Whip just in case he does sub again, which might be likely. No, he's actually just going to go right for the Earthquake, so... That is fine. We take less than half from that, which is insane. Gets hit with some life orb damage, and please connect on this power whip, Barbara. Thank God, Barb. My girl. Yes. <laughs> That's able to knock it down uh, into manageable range. And I think we click spikes here. Barbara's basically good for having it around for this Gyarados, so it's kind of doing its job. Um, I'm surprised that that earthquake did less than half there. So now he's actually going to Dynamax. He's going to go for the Max Airstream here. Damn it. I would like to would like to be able to get that um get that layer of spikes up. Would be nice. But now that's a large Gyarados, and he does have the life orb. Uh, which we saw, right? So I think he actually does still have what does he have? Two hits left in him at that range. So now he goes for the max quake. And uh that is going to be able to knock out Young Barbara. Too soon, but um, he actually gets a special defense raise from that. I forgot that Max Quake even gives you that. Well, we at least whittled this thing down. He does have one hit left in him on um, the Life Orb. But the good news is that now we can just bring in Barrascuta. Um, we can just go ahead and go in here and just Choice Band Aqua Jet. Which is kind of the way I've taken down a few Gyaradoses, which is surprising. So, we're just going to go ahead and click Aqua Jet here. And getting rid of the Gyarados is fantastic for us. But we're at about nine minutes on the battle timer here. So we got to start making some things happen. Can we get the swift swim to start swimming on these hoes, please? I would be surprised if he switches out here. Um, he could save that Gyarados for an Intimidate switch in later. But I think my safest bet is just to click the Aqua Jet. Um, he knows that that's probably coming, though. So it's likely that he might switch out here. Um, the Rotom Wash comes in easily. He could bring in the Eldegoss. Could bring in the Gengar just to sack and then be able to get a free switch into the Rotom Wash. But let's see what he wants to do. I would like to just flat out get rid of this Gyarados. Look at the size of this lad. Absolute unit. So the timer. The clock's a ticking, boy. The shit clock's a ticking, Rick. Please. Let me just Aqua Jet you. He does actually just stay in. It's not nice. Gyarados goes down, and we are not getting swept by that thing today. So that is amazing. Also, most important thing about that whole 
shindig is that he actually used up his Dynamax. So now he's down to Eldegoss, Toxtricity, Rotom Wash, Cinderace, and the Gengar. Um, we are locked into Aqua Jet here as he's now going to be able to go into the Rotom Wash. And I think he's kind of forced to... He doesn't know I'm banded at this point. But I think he's kind of forced to go for like a Volt Switch here. He might actually just Will-O-Wisp. Uh, either way, I'm going to bring in Warts. Because we have a great switch into Rotom Washes here. Because we don't care about being, being Will-O-Wisp. And obviously, easy to switch into. He had actually just got a Thunder Wave, which is perfect. So, it's not affect us. And now we are just going to go ahead and... I'm going to set up the Stealth Rock. I think that's probably... Probably the best option here. I don't have really much to hit this Rotom with, but he also doesn't have much that he could do to me either. So we get the rocks up, um, and I'm assuming this thing is now going to Will-O-Wisp. Maybe even Trick. I have, nope, he's just gonna he's gonna T-Wave again, expecting another switch. Um, he's expect he was expecting me to go into Eldegoss. So now we can play some mind games. Or he was expecting me to expect him to go into Eldegoss. Uh, so we can go ahead and I kind of want to go into Nigel, expecting him to go into the Eldegoss now. Which would be a play. That would be... I think we need to get the momentum on our side here, boys. We're going to we're gonna do it. We're switching into Nigel. Uh, this could be a terrible play for us. Um, if he decides to just go for the T-Wave again, I would doubt it. He's kind of at the point where he probably doesn't want to overpredict. The Eldegoss comes in nice and easy. Um, so we are actually going to switch out. Damn it, it looks like he stayed in. It looks like he's actually just going to go for... you going to T-Bolt me? Damn it, Blake, are you going to T-Bolt me? So we do get up the rain, though. At least that is good news. And he does, he, the, this man clicked the Thunder Wave again. So, that is terrible. Now Nigel's in here, and we do not have a good time against this thing. But, I have nothing that wants to switch into this, like, at all. Other than warts. We gotta go back into warts. We at least get the rain up, so now we're gonna be able to swift swim on this thing. Um, a Hydro Pump in the rain with especially offensive boy does still hurt quite a bit. So we'll see what this thing wants to do. I'm assuming he'll just Volt Switch, yeah. Um, so now he's gonna wanna go into that Eldegoss, but we're just gonna click Hydro Pump regardless. Uh, let's just, we gotta get some damage. He actually stays in, we missed the Hydro Pump, and he Hydro Pumps me in return. <laughs> oh my God, they both missed. <laughs> yes. Holy shit, Hydro Pump. We can't see a damn thing out here. The, there's water in my eyes. It's, uh, so he knows that I'm Swift Swim rather than Water Absorb. Now he's going to switch. He's going to probably bring in the Goss. Yep, does go into the Baby Yoda. And uh, again, this man is on point with the nicknames. And we miss another Hydro Pump. Bruh, I, it still would have been just super nice to hit that. But of course we don't, so that sucks. Now I've got to go ahead and switch out here. Um, I'm going to go into Nigel just because... I don't think Eldegoss has much. I mean, this actually might be a bad idea. We can also, we can always Dynamax and get the rain up. Um, he's actually just going to Rapid Spin. So, gets rid of the rocks. That allows the Gengar to come in safely. And that is annoying. I forgot that Eldegoss even Rapid Spins. Um, the rain goes away right as we send in this damn thing, which is annoying. I thought we at least still had one turn left in it, but I was not keeping track. Do we switch, though, is the question. Or do we just straight up Dynamax here? I would like to get Dreadnought to Dynamax, to be honest. I think we just click Hydro Pump anyway. Or not Hydro Pump. Um, hurricane anyway. We're probably going to get fully paralyzed or miss the, the Hurricane. But we're due for a connection here. Please, thank God. We do connect. Specs Hurricane is able to knock out the Baby Yoda. Thank God. We really, really needed that. Um, so now we can conserve... Pelipper, we can switch this thing out. We can bring it back in later to set up the rain. And that is... That's a switch in that he... That he had on us. So it's good that we were able to get rid of that. So now he's going to bring in Led Zeppelin. Which is amazing again. My guy. We're going to go right back into warts here. Um, Seismitoad is a great switch into this. Boom Burst actually still is going to do a lot of damage. I'm assuming he's just going to click boom, boom Burst. But... I don't know if we really need warts around too badly. Yeah, the Boom Burst actually just knocks us straight out, but that's fine. We kind of had to go for that. Um, now is when we go into Nigel. Or, no, just kidding. We go into Frank. False Alarm, we go into Frank. Nothing wants to take an attack from a Dracovish. There's literally nothing. He can bring in that Rotom, um, but it's still just going to take a buttload of damage from a Fish's Rend, so... 
Let's go ahead and click that. We're going to still save the Dynamax. Um, you know, it actually would have been a great idea to just stay in, in Dynamax there and go for the Water Slot, which does set up the rain. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm trying to move quick because I know that this game is kind of winding down in terms of the timer. The timer adds an interesting dynamic to the Wi-Fi battles, man. All right, Young Frankenstein, absolute ugly monster. Something needs to come in on a Fish's Friend here, so... Let's see what this Led Zeppelin wants to do. If he wants to stay in, I believe it dies. Um, he could switch in that Rotom Wash. Other than that, he has the Cinderace and the Gengar. So he is going to go into the Gengar here. He decides to sack this thing off. Ghost Malone, you are dead. He got rid of the Stealth Rock, but it does not matter. Vicious Red knocks this thing out. Now he gets a free switch into whatever he would like. And it's probably going to be that Rotom. And it kind of seems like at this point, it might be good to just sack off the Pelipper. Brings in the OU Ho. I think I might just sack off Nigel. We can come in. If he kills me with a Volt Switch, that it might actually be kind of good for us. Yeah, this is a bad. This is a. This is a scary one. Okay, let's let's go into Nigel here, which seems like a terrible idea. Switch hard switching this thing into a Rotom Wash, but we're gonna do it because it's gonna set up our Drizzle. He has three Mons left: the Tro Toxicity, Rotom Wash, and the Cinderace. The Cinderace, if it's Choice Scarfed, we're gonna have a bad time against it. But if it's not Scarfed, we'll be okay. He actually just T waves. So we're able to bring this thing in um, freely. So now we just click Hydro Pump. Um, he's just gonna finish us off with. A Volt Switch, which is fine, because that is going to allow us to come in on whatever he wants to bring in. Gets a crit, which totally freaking mattered. If I lose, it's because of that critical hit. Just kidding. Obviously, uh, we die if you breathe on Pelipper with an electric breath. So, I mean, we're just four times weak to that. So, they literally, we were dying either way. So, now we get to see what he wants to bring in. We've got the rain up. Things are looking decent. For the swift swimming squad here um, i'm assuming he's just gonna bring in i mean either way i think we go dreadnought sitting at about 17 minutes here and is the battle timer gonna finally get me we, need, we really need you to just click a button here man i'm trying to play quick because i need this battle to fully play out but if i go if i go into dracovish i think we have a decent does this thing just knock out Frank straight up? I don't know if it does. I think we actually go Sheldon. We're going to bring in... Bring in... I always call him Sheldon, but it's Shelton, which I thought was more funny. But all right. So this thing can actually low kick if it's scarfed it out speeds. But we just click Stone Surge anyway, which will set up the Stealth Rock. So we're able to see uh, if this thing is going to be... If it's Scarf. This thing doesn't naturally outspeed me, even with the Swift Swim, right? No, there's no way. But we're going to get big on him. Your boy is an absolute unit. I love... I honestly really like the design of this thing. Straight up Bowser on him. So we're going to see what the Cinderace wants to click. Ooh, it breaks through and gets the high jump kick off, which we're able to live. Um, that was a crit, too. Jesus. Imagine if that wasn't a crit. All right, we get the G-Max Stone Surge off. That is going to kill Red Foreman. So down goes Cinderace. He's now down to uh, the Rotom Wash and the Toxtricity. So Dreadnought is out here in the rain. Getting nice and wet. We get hurt by that Life Orb, but we still got some hits left in us. So two turns left to Dynamax. He's got two, turn two Mons left. I think we only have like a minute, <laughs> like one minute, three minutes left. Just kidding. That just came up. False Alarm. I really wish that there was actually like a running timer that you could actually see what you're working with, but unfortunately there is not, so I'm just going to work with what we got here. He's going to bring in the Led Zeppelin. Does get hurt by the Stealth Rock because we set that up with our Stone Surge. Now we just go ahead and click, I wish I could click Max Knuckle, but we cannot because it would live it. Max Knuckle does give you just a speed boost, which is great, but all right, Led Zeppelin. Prepare to die. The bad thing about Toxtricity is it's just its speed. It's hard to get this thing to work, but that's going to knock this thing out. The last Mon is going to be that Rotom Wash, so... Will the washing machine be the death of me? I hate Rotom Wash so much. 
It's got a very fitting nickname though, the OU Ho. Absolute. All right, so we do still have the rain up. We are going to. What do I have left here? What is what are my options? I have Barrasquita left, which should be able to outspeed. I think we just click Max Rockfall. Let's drop the rock on this bitch. Yeah, Shelton. G Max Dreadnought making it happen. Does connect, and it lives. But we set up the sandstorm with that. And if worse comes to worse, all we have to do is actually just bring in Barrasquita and Aqua Jet, I believe. So this thing is going to T-wave me here, which I don't believe matters. I don't think you die by one Sandstorm hit, or do you? Oh, you do. Just kidding. We actually are able to get the win with the Sandstorm damage. <laughs> uh, I thought he had more health than that, but that was honestly, that was a really close match. I love playing against Blake because this man always, always has some predictions. And, uh... Always makes for some interesting matches. And that went right down to the timer as well. So that was a very close match. We got the team to relatively work. Thank you, Blake, for the match, man. We'll, I'm sure we'll have plenty of games in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.